Okay, everybody. Hello, everybody. My name is Olga with GEM Accounting and Tax. GEM Accounting and Tax is a full service CPA firm that offers tax and accounting services for organizations in early childhood education. So today I want to talk about managing your IRS tax debt. Sometimes life happens. Sometimes you file your taxes and you end up owing more taxes, more in taxes than you anticipated. What do you do in this case? Well, consider getting into an installment agreement. An installment agreement with the IRS can help remove the strain of having to come with a large lump sum to offset your IRS debt. You can easily do this online uh, on your IRS account at www.irs.gov. This will allow you to put in place an installment agreement. Keep in mind that an installment agreement can be stretched as long as 72 months. That is six years. So if you have a huge debt and you're wondering how to pay it, an installment agreement could be a solution for that. Now, although an installment agreement is a good idea or can be a manageable idea, keep in mind that the debt that you owe on your IRS account is akin to credit card debt or a short-term loan. So this means that for as long as you have a balance on your account, there's going to be interest and penalty charges on that debt. So the longer you have as an outstanding balance on your IRS debt, the more interest that you're going to incur. So if you do have an installment agreement, you don't want to stretch it for too long because that is the period of time the interest will keep adding up. So that is something to keep in mind when you're trying to manage your IRS debt. Because interest can be rather high on IRS balances, there might be alternative ways of paying these um, balances. So for example, if you get a credit card offer or a loan, a very favorable loan um, terms with your bank or your credit card account, consider doing that. So every time you get like a zero balance transfer offer, you have good credit and you can manage to get maybe a six month period or a 12 year, 12 month period where you're not paying any kind of interest on your credit card debt, you could actually use that offer to offset your IRS debt and then have a little bit of time, a breathing space to manage your IRS debt. I want you to be very cautious with this because you have to be very disciplined. Upon the expiry of the interest-free period, you want to make sure that you're able to offset you, uh, your balance because otherwise it wouldn't make any kind of sense. So please proceed with caution. But in order to avoid all the accumulated interest and maybe penalty charges on your IRS account, you might want to use an, a commercial loan to offset that balance and then figure out a way to pay the commercial loan. Number four uh, to consider is how about you use the services of a professional? Seek the services of a professional. They can help, navig help you navigate um, IRS debt. You know, sometimes it can be overwhelming or maybe you don't understand the jargon, the legal speak. So consider using a professional to help you manage your IRS debt. A professional will look at alternative solutions for your debt and work with you to offset it. Lastly, take heart take action. Whenever you get notices from the IRS, take a look at it. Open that piece of envelope, that envelope and read through it. Um, try to understand what they're trying to ask you. They might have an outstanding balance or you can use that piece of letter, that, uh, uh, that letter to reach out to a professional to help you navigate through it. Most of all, take heart. You're not the only one. There are a lot of people going through what you're going through. So if you're stuck and overwhelmed, Try calling the IRS, work with a professional, take some sort of action. The worst thing you can do when you get a notice from the IRS is ignoring it and hiding it and not understanding what it is they want. 
Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. This is Olga with GEM Accounting and Tax. Thank you for your time.